Today in our trailer, we'll be looking at the Packham Ladder Rack for exterior side wall of enclosed trailer for one ladder, part number PK-28WL-BM. Now, the main reason you want a ladder rack like this is on an enclosed trailer, sometimes you don't have the necessary room inside for your long ladder, especially if you have an extension ladder. This will allow you easy access to your ladder and still have all the room inside your trailer to have your construction equipment and your construction supplies. Now for convenience, our ladder rack comes with bungee cords in order to secure the ladders to the rack. Now for added security to help prevent theft of your ladders when they're installed on the rack, you can use a cable lock with a padlock to secure them on down. We have several of those options available on our website. Okay, our ladder rack is 46 and a half inches tall and will accommodate ladders that are up to six and a quarter inches wide. All right, now that we've got over some features of our ladder rack, we'll show you how to get installed on our trailer. First thing we want to do is find out where the studs are on our trailer wall. If you look down here on the side, we have multiple rows of screws that attach the side of our trailer. And these go straight into the studs on the interior wall. This is where we're going to want to attach our rails. Now we need to find a good location for them to space them properly for our ladder use. We're going to have our back one here, right behind our fender. And for our front one here, we will install it right behind where this vent is. That way our ladders won't interfere with the vent. All right, now we need to mark where we're gonna drill our holes at. We're just gonna go right in line, up against the roof line here, and we'll make a mark right here in the middle. And we'll do the same for our bottom bolt location. And we'll do the same for our front rail. Now we'll drill out a pilot hole where we marked. Okay, we'll go ahead and drill out our other pilot holes for the front and the rear rails. Okay, with our pilot holes all made, we'll now drill them out with an 11 30 seconds drill bit. Now we'll take our long threaded bolt and one of our flat washers and we'll put it on. We'll take one of our wide washer plates, place it on the bolt, and then we'll raise it in position and go through the hole. Okay, now on the inside of our trailer, we'll place on our smaller plate washer, a round washer, and then our nylon lock nut. We'll do the same here for our bottom. Okay, we have an extra set of hands on the outside of the trailer holding the bolt in place with a wrench while we tighten down the nut. Okay, we'll do the same on the bottom one now. All right, we'll double check our top one now and make sure it's snug. With that done, we'll repeat the same process for the front rail. Now we'll take our ladder arm, our reinforcement plate, one of our shorter bolts, slide it in position, run the bolt on through, Place another bolt in and we'll thread on our nylon lock nuts and then we'll snug our hardware on down. We'll go to the front rail and do the same at the same position. All right, now if you have an excessive amount of bolts sticking through on your inside wall of your trailer here, you can actually cut this off of a grinder so you can maximize the amount of room inside your trailer for storing stuff against the wall. You don't have to worry about running into it either. And we'll repeat the same process for our front rail. And that completes our look at the Packham ladder rack for exterior side wall of enclosed trailers for one ladder, part number PK-28WL-BM. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.